Welcome back to Portugal. A new week, a new project. Actually, it's the same week as the last video. And in fact, it's the next day since we finished the framing of the shed. Today, we're gonna be getting, oh, this wind. So I really have had a bit of a constant battle with the wind, but I've got a new microphone on order. So hopefully that will be sorted out pretty soon. And to be honest, this bit of frustration at the wind this morning really set the tone for the day. I was a little bit tired and working by myself here for the majority of the time because Kylie was off elsewhere on the property doing something else, which we'll show you a bit later on. And being a little bit tired, I had a couple of minor injuries, nothing serious at all, but just adding to the frustration. We're running out of time on this project because we're moving on site in just a few weeks and the shed is going to house all of our electrical equipment and be the place where we store and cook all of our food. Fortunately, with a bit of help from Kylie doing some measuring whilst I did the cutting, we got this second side up in no time at all. Is that perfect, did you say perfect? <laughs> yes, perfect. Is that because of the design? It must be, right? <laughs> You're getting good at this. Better. Better. Thanks for the correction there. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Mum will be impressed. Hi, Mum. <laughs> so, after that bit of unexpected praise from my wife, it was back to work on putting up the OSB by myself. And the reason that I was working by myself is because Kylie was elsewhere gathering materials for the roof. You may remember in the last video we were umming and ahhing about what to do for the roof. We considered tiles, we considered roofing felt, we considered some metal corrugated panels. And the decision that we had made based on some advice we were given in a Facebook group was if you've got tiles, then why not use them? And we were in agreement. We thought this was a great way to reuse some materials. Probably one of the most eco-friendly ways of building is to reuse stuff that you have already got or potentially reuse things that were going to be thrown away. And we've got a couple of fallen down outbuildings on our property. And so Kylie was off salvaging tiles that we could put onto the roof of our kitchen shed. is very much in my way is when we put the string line up it was probably me who left it there to be honest I need to get it out Kylie stole my power so I've had to go battery operated and we need to take out this piece of the door frame here so we don't have to cut the door down too much and there's not enough headroom here Not perfect, but not bad. Oh, there was a screw in there. <laughs> that was a stupid place to put a screw. It's not very safe. So I'm going to fix that too. I've had a lot of building related injuries today. Small things, but that could be quite nasty. Let's fix it. We get to try out a uh, new blade in this new machine, uh, which is good because we're going to probably have to do a lot of this in the house to get a lot of the nails out of the ceiling joists. So this will be a good test. I think this is thicker than most of those nails. So we'll see how we do here. Pretty good. Hi. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's like you found a whole new part of the land. Well, this is the church. I don't think 
it actually ever was a church, unless it was a church and then it was used for animals or something. Uh, or animal sacrifice. <laughs> most of these tiles are okay. I've only come across one snake. You know, nothing like Aussie style snakes, so we're all good. So what's with the tiles? We need to put a roof on our shed. And we have these tiles. I think they're they're not that old. Like they probably even have a year on it somewhere. Um, but we're gonna reuse these because there's nothing wrong with them. As long as our shed can take the weight of what I estimate of 120 tiles. And what's the backup plan if it's too heavy or we haven't got enough or they're too uh, broken? Um, I don't know yet. Something else. Should lunch. we have lunch? Yes. Yeah, let's That's do lunch. That's why I'm tired. So the sides are on. The only thing that is missing is, uh, you see these little window fillety bits. Oh, the wind. So the walls are on, or at least the first layer of the walls are on. The uh, OSB is up on all the sides. I've got a little bit of detailing around this window to do, um, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. So the big outstanding question is the roof. Kylie's been reclaiming tiles, but we've just been doing some additional research and there might be a problem. That's not a good look. <laughs> so after tackling the bram bramble forest, climbing onto the roof, taking down 114 tiles, um, I really think they're way too heavy for our shed. I don't think it has enough support. And then because I sat down to have a rest, I actually looked at the pitch and I actually went to Google um, how much pitch for a tiled roof. Technically, the materials used for flat roofing are entirely different from pitch roofs. So if you're thinking about placing tiles on your flat roof, you can, but your roof will fail. Uh, because of the difference in placing the tiles compared with flat, flat root sheets and your roof is bound to leak. Given that water tightness because we have solar in the shed is one of our key concerns, perhaps we shouldn't use tiles. It's a shame. Boo. Because... Because I'm exhausted after removing <laughs> 114 tiles. But also because we, we like to reclaim, reuse as much as we can, not so much because of money but because there's materials all around this place that have kind of fallen into disrepair or have, you know, would potentially be wasted. So we were trying to save them. And they won't be wasted. We will reuse them. We'll use them for something else. Yeah, exactly. With a steeper pitched roof, probably a wood store or something like that, yep. which is less, I mean, obviously you want to keep that dry, but it there's not electricity inside. So. And it's, the good news is no one will kill themselves when they walk into those buildings now, because nothing is going to collapse onto their heads. Well, that's excellent news. <laughs> So a trip to the builder's merchant. Good morning. It's a new day. I don't need this on. I don't need this on right now. We're at the builder's merchant. They open at nine and it is 
one minute past nine. So we're just going to let them chill for a minute or two before we go in and try and speak at them in bad Portuguese. We came last night to see what they had. And then we found something which we didn't think at the time looked that great. Yeah. But we went away and did some research. It turns out it's perfect. So we're going to go and buy some roofing panels and we're going to try and fit them in this, a very small mini <laughs> in this small <laughs> small car and hopefully that will go smoothly bom dia estamos de volta queria oito para isso We're going to see if we can uh, Put them in the somehow car. get them in the car. They're very flexible, so we're hoping that they'll just bend a little bit around yeah. the seats and whatnot. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. So the roofing crisis has been averted for now. We've got all the panels back. Anyway, the plan for today is to get this on because we're due some rain tomorrow. We want to get this water tight. And we're on a bit of a time crunch because I have to get back to the rental flat for a meeting at five o'clock tonight. So we've essentially got six hours to get this building watertight. So noggins in on this overhang here. I'm doing a piece to camera. So noggins in. We don't need them in the middle because we're going to run the OSB boards across long ways, which will tie all of those joists together and tie them to the walls. And uh, that will save us putting in noggins in the middle here. It's not a huge run anyway, so not a big deal. So as we start getting the OSB boards up on the roof, I thought it might be worth talking a little bit about how we came across this roofing panel product. Not the OSB, but the, uh, the ones that we bought back in the car. And to be honest, it was completely by luck and chance because we went to our local building merchant, which is literally about a five minute drive away, but they had nothing other than roofing tiles, just like the ones that we'd pulled off the outbuildings. So we went to the industrial estate in the nearby bigger town of Serta and they had this, this product, this uh, onduline or onduline roofing panel. And we looked at it and thought, well, this looks a bit flimsy. Surely this can't be right. But we went home and did some research. And not only did it turn out to be a completely suitable product, it's also eco-friendly. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that How you going? a little bit later on. Last three screws. Terry will be happy to get down from here. It's a little bit windy. Rather you than me. I'm not a big fan of heights. But I might have to get up there to trim the edges. So I guess I'll be facing my fears. not much fun but it's done now we can get the roof on So this product is pretty cool for a few reasons. One, it is made from recycled materials, recycled, what is it? Paper and card. Recycled paper and card. And then it has uh, color pigment and resin injected along with bitumen, which is a, another waste product. The other cool thing about it is that it is also the waterproof breathable membrane. So this goes straight on top of the OSB deck on the roof. So we don't need to put another breathable membrane underneath. We just have that for wrapping around the sides. And then it's super easy to cut. I'm using a Stanley knife 
and it just cuts straight through. It's really flexible, really light. I think it's about five kilos per sheet, maybe four and a half kilos a sheet. So far, so good. It's a lot less slippy though, isn't it? Oh, it's great compared to, I mean, this is going to be done in like half an hour. Which is great. Um, it's just the knees. Uh, so if you measure from that top down with the, how much overlap? 20? Uh, 30? 30 centimetre. Right. Then, then you can cut those boards into pieces. I think one board might do... Might do two. At least or two. Or three. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. then you need to cut it <clears> a sliver like this one. I take back my comments. It's horrible stuff to cut. Down the length is fine, even with a Stanley knife, but cutting across Stanley knife is no good because of all the ridges and they're quite firm. But my saw is now full of bitumen and is not really a saw, it's more like a butter knife now. But fortunately this is the last cut, so not so bad. <laughs> So I like how quickly it's gone on. I don't love the finish of it from above, but rarely am I going to stand up here and look at the finish. So maybe we just have to chalk this one up to what it is, which is a temporary shed. What did you say, my love? It's about watertight, not aesthetic. It's about being watertight, not about aesthetics. Wise words, I think. And the good news is, we have 45 minutes left of the day. So we'll see if we can get some of the membrane on around the sides. There's lots more screws to do, but these panels aren't going anywhere. And it'll be interesting to see, say not going anywhere. <laughs> um, but it'll be interesting to see how it fares with the bit of rain that we're gonna have tomorrow. you wrap a house. Sorry, shed. It always feels so overkill what we do, but it's also a great way to learn and to practice and to try new things. But the good news is it is one minute to four. I'm not just making that up. And I think we're watertight. Except the edges. <laughs> Except for the edges. So before we finish, finish, finish this, we are going to get some uh, some fascia to go around the, the the front and the sides to make sure no water can get in under the roof pieces. And we also still have some cladding to do. So everywhere that you currently see the the black uh, eco membrane, eco tech, I think it's called, we'll be battening and cladding that with some spruce boards to make it look a bit nicer than a big black box, but also to give yet another layer of protection for any weather ingress, especially dry for the solar equipment. What are your thoughts on house building? I mean, shed building? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Happy we found a relatively eco solution for our roof. Yeah. Tired? Yeah, always. <laughs> Right, we've got to pack up because uh, I've got a call. It's going to be raining tomorrow, but we should be back the next day to get some cladding on. Yeah.